blades, butter knives, if you will. The most pure feeling irons out of the mold. That felt really good. You can work the bowl really well, but you may get punished on those miss hits. Why'd you have to go and ruin that? Hey golfers, I'm Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. Today I have a very exciting test. The top four most fitted blades at Second Swing. So let's start off talking about what irons we're going to be testing today. At the top end of the spectrum, the smallest blade out there, the Ping Blueprint. Very, very small, very, very clean looking lines with no offset. It's a great feeling golf club, but you may get punished on your misses a little bit. We also have the Callaway Apex MB. Also a very, very sleek, good looking club, very, very nice top line. We also have the Mizuno MP20. Extremely good feeling blade off the club face. And then we have the TaylorMade P7 MB. These are the, being the top four that we fit here at Second Swing when it comes to blades. I'm excited to hit a whole bunch of shots and compare the differences between them all and talk about forgiveness, talk about workability, and talk about why or why you should not be playing these clubs in your bag. For today's test, we're gonna be testing with the Dynamic Gold S300 120 golf shaft in three of the models. Unfortunately, for TaylorMade, we don't happen to have that particular golf shaft, so we have the KBS Tour 120S. Very, very similar in weight. The Dynamic Gold 120 S300 weighs 118 grams, while the KBS Tour at 120S weighs 120 grams. So very, very similar test. Let's hit some shots and compare the differences. Feels really good. Why'd you have to go and ruin that? Mizuno MP20, just wow. It felt incredibly soft off the club face. And I hit four very good shots back to back there. I had to go ruin it on the fifth shot, but very, very good, very, very clean looking golf club. Even that miss hit though, the one that stood out to me is the fact that it still carried the same distance, which is important because we don't want to ever get those poles that go flying way over the back of the green. We want to make sure that we get that number every single time with our carry distance. That is what you're going to get out of a blade. You're going to get consistency and workability. I tend to play a little bit more of a drawer, and my drawer was just exaggerated on that fifth shot. Feels incredibly good, looks incredibly good, nice and short from heel to toe. Great looking club. I'm excited to see how it compares to the others. The Ping Blueprint, it looks very small to look down at, very, very tiny top lines. If you are a blade lover, you're going to love this. Now, you'll notice that my dispersion pattern got a little bit larger. I got punished a little bit on my miss hits there too, but if you're a very good bull striker, the Ping Blueprint is definitely a great option. Of the four models we're going to test today, it is going to be the smallest profile looking down at. Even comparing here to the Mizuno MP20, definitely a little bit smaller on the top line, a little bit smaller from heel to toe. Feels incredibly good. It's an incredibly good feeling golf club. It's forged, um, but it, for me, I had a hard time controlling my misses. They were just going a little bit left. It's going to have the least amount of offset of them all. Oh boy, that's left. That felt really good. Okay, the Callaway Apex MB also has a very sleek top line, 
feels pretty soft off the face as well. I'm looking at the sole compared to the Blueprint and the Apex MB and the Blueprint for sure is quite a lot smaller. It's kind of interesting. I got the exact same ball speed with the Blueprint and the Callaway Apex MB. I think it was 127.8. But you'll notice that I didn't quite swing as fast with the MB versus the Bling Blueprint. So that's just showcasing maybe a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more juice with the Apex MB than the Blueprint overall. But very, very close with regards to same ball speed, it just swung a little bit faster. Maybe a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter overall. If you look at the dispersion pattern, you'll kind of see that the purple circle, just a little bit smaller than the Blueprint. But that uh, Mizuno MP20 is going to be really hard to beat with those first four swings of the day. So MB, awesome, thin top line, good looking club to look down at. So right now, ranking from in size, the Blueprint would be the smallest. The Apex MB would be the next in line. And then we have the MP20, which should probably be the largest of the three blades that we've hit so far. The TaylorMade P7MB of all the models does look like it's a little bit larger profile. And I'm seeing it here from the bottom of the club all the way up to the top of the club is where I see just a little bit larger, a little bit taller profile overall. So I'd say this is probably the largest of the four of the blades that we do fit the most here at Second Swing. But it's also kind of interesting. It was probably the highest spinning of the four as well. So definitely higher spinning, maybe a little bit straighter as well. But yeah, it was a good looking golf club, just a little larger profile than the other blades. Before I take a look at the numbers, I do want to just bring up my top two with regards to look, feel, and consistency. First touching on look, my two favorite looking blades here were the Ping Blueprint and the Callaway Apex MB. The top two best feeling blades were the Mizuno MP20 and the Callaway Apex MB. And the top two most consistent irons were the TaylorMade P7MB and the Mizuno MP20. So those are kind of my like top two. Let's talk about the numbers and explain differences between them. So first off, my club speed was within half a mile an hour of club speed between them. We're ranging from about 90.4 on the highest and 89.6 kind of on, on the lowest with regards to club speed. So if we look at ball speed, that's kind of more important. You can see ball speed. Now these lofts on these irons are all around about 34 degrees of loft. So we're not going to expect crazy high amounts of ball speed. It's not going to go crazy far. It's supposed to go a certain number every single time. So that's when I like to look at the consistency, the plus or minus number underneath the numbers. So the highest ball speed was the Ping Blueprint and the Callaway Apex MB. Uh, but if we look at the most consistent, it was actually the Mizuno MP20 at plus or minus 0 0.8. So that means the ball speed was very consistent every single time. If we look at spin, so spin rate, if we were going to rank the spin rate here, the TaylorMade P7MB definitely stood out to me with regards to this little bit higher spin and a little bit more consistent there on the higher spin as well. So a little higher spinning, a little consistently higher spinning there. We were talking within about 400 RPMs for all the models because the loft on them all around about 34 degrees. If we look at carry distance, we're ranging from 183 to 187. So plus or minus about four yards. The pink blueprint did actually go just a little bit further overall because I had those two poles over here to the left side. That's why they're showing the carry distance just kind of a little bit further. Uh, it was kind of interesting there. The height was basically the same, 126 to 128 feet in the air with all of them. So it's kind of interesting. Landing angle is going to be exceptional. Very, very good, very, very uh, workable irons. So generally speaking, I was hitting a little bit of a drawer every single time. So I want to touch on the amount of curve that I was generating uh, for all these irons. So you'll notice around about 20 feet of curve to 33 feet of curve from right to left. The TaylorMade P7MB had the least amount of curve, it was only 20 feet, while the 
Callaway Apex MB and the Ping Blueprint had 33 feet of curve uh, right to left. So if you know my game, you know I like to play a little bit of a draw, partly to do the reason why my spin rate is generally a little bit on the, on the lower side, but I feel like I can control the draw just a little bit, uh, a little bit better than how I've done in the past. Years ago, I used to hit a fade, but now I play a little bit of a draw. So kind of really kind of interesting test. These all feel exceptionally good. Don't get me wrong, blades, you know, regardless of what manufacturer, are going to feel they're going to look exceptionally good, and they're going to be really reliable. So it's important to make sure you come on in and test them yourselves. So come on into our stores, or if you can't make it, work with a club fitter online, and we would love to help you out to fit you into your new blades if you're interested in this iron category. Keep in mind, these are kind of for your better players in the golf market, but make sure you come on in to get fit and figure out whether you should be playing blades or whether you should be playing in clubs a little bit more forgiving. So come on into Second Swing and get fit like a pro.